Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Sunny Kuswan. Today we are going to talk about Mini Konda. So if you are a beginner or the intermediate level in the machine learning or data science field, you must have heard about the Anaconda or the Konda environment. Now you must be wondering like what is this Mini Konda? So what exactly it is and why we have to use it and what is the exact benefit of a Mini Konda over the Anaconda? So these are all topics I'm going to cover inside of this episode. But before that, if you're new on this channel, then please subscribe to this channel, hit on the bell icon so you will get the notification whenever I create a new and interesting content on the data science and machine learning. Now let's talk about what is Mini Konda. But before that, I would like to give a quick background about the Anaconda. Okay, so Anaconda, we say like it is a Python package distribution, but it is not only limited to the Python. Okay, Anaconda also supports the other programming languages like R programming language, Java programming language, and there are many more programming languages which Anaconda supports and provides the package distribution for those programming languages. So when we are installing Anaconda on our system, Anaconda installs the Conda environment, Python, and there are around 1500 plus Python packages it installs when we are installing the Anaconda. So while installing Anaconda, it takes a lot of time and we need at least 3 GB of space on our system to install Anaconda. So solution to all these limitations of Anaconda is a mini Conda. So you can say the mini Conda is the smallest version of Anaconda. Okay, so where we can just get a Conda environment or package manager along with a Python and we also get some basic uh, package manager related stuff that is a pip and the zlib and there are some other basic packages which is required for the python it won't install the, all these 1500 packages when we install the mini conda so mini conda is a very light setup which we can install on our system and it only needs 400 megabyte space on our computer system so when you are in a hurry and want to install the anaconda very quickly then go and choose the mini conda install it so it will just install the conda python and basic packages and you can start developing your python project but in the mini conda case you have to install the all other packages as you need while going further in your project like you need a tensorflow you need some numpy or any other packages like a pytorch so you have to install it manually in case of a mini conda because when you are installing mini conda it is just installing the very core packages and it is not installing the most of the python packages okay now the question is it is fine that anaconda consumes a lot of memory like a 3 gb memory installs 1500 packages along with it so solution to quick solution to it is like a mini conda so it just consumes the 400 megabyte space but now question is when to use this mini conda okay so if you are a very beginner and uh, just starting with the data science and machine learning field then it is recommended to use an anaconda if you have enough space on your system then you should go for the anaconda because when you are installing an anaconda it is installing almost all the python packages which is required for your data science and machine learning project so you can directly start working on your data science and machine learning project you don't need to bother about different packages importing it installing it and importing it okay but you are just a beginner starting with a python data science and machine learning and if you install a mini conda then for for your all project requirements you have to search for packages and you have to install those packages or dependencies or the different libraries of a data science and machine learning on your environment okay so bottom line is like if you are very beginner to data science machine learning go for the anaconda and there is a custom scenario if you are intermediate level but you have some limitations with the machine you are working on such environment where you have a small space available then go for the mini conda okay so that's all for today hope you got an idea about what is anaconda what is mini conda what is the advantages of mini conda and in which scenarios you can go for the mini conda okay so that's all for today hope you like today's information if yes then please hit on the like button subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning if you have any questions and doubt then just mention in the comment box i'll try to get back to you also mention what you would prefer to install on your system anaconda or mini conda just mention in the comment box and let me know thank you for watching stay safe stay happy see you in the next video until then bye bye